WNBA free agency tipped off this weekend, and Liberty could be looking to add more players after a major move they already made this offseason. Now, when it comes to talking about the W, I've got to talk to the best. She's been breaking major news this offseason and is the founder of Girls Talk Sports TV, the one and only Christina Williams. And Christina, I know, look, when the free agency season starts, you're going to have your phone in your hand a lot. You're going to be very busy. How are you doing? I'm doing good, and as you said, it's been quite the busy weekend, so just staying close to the phone and seeing what's co what's coming next. That's right. You're going to be all on top of it. Now, Christina, you reported on Saturday that Courtney Vandersloot will be visiting with the Liberty this weekend. How interested are the Liberty in adding the Sky Point Guard to their roster? Right, so the Liberty right now are looking to improve their backcourt, especially at that point guard position since the departure of Crystal Dangerfield and that three-team trade deal that happened earlier this week. Uh, and sources close to the team, they tell me that the Liberty want to make upgrades and they will explore the list of players that's available right now in the free agent market. And then they'll try to survey uh, the possibility of the trade market. But the team, they want to assemble the best possible roster to field a team that can compete for a championship title in 2023. The Liberty right now, they have about $383,000 in cap space to sign a big name free agent. And if they make some moves, they can also sign two big superstars right now. And so uh, Jonathan Culp, he has a lot to think about uh, in the coming days as free agent negotiations opened um, on Saturday. And the Liberty, they're no longer looking to rebuild. They are in a win now era right now. They want to win. Um, they want to bring the Liberty franchise their first title in the team's history. So they're going to do whatever they can to make that happen right now in the offseason. And Courtney Vandersloot, she has the experience. She's a 12-year player. She's a two-time All-Star, a WNBA champion. She paired nice with uh, Sabrina Unescu. Uh, we saw last season what happened when Krista Dangerfield played the point guard position. Sabrina was able to move off the ball and get some better shots on offense. And so bringing someone in like Courtney Vandersloot, who leads the league in assists right now and also is number three overall in league assists, uh, she has that experience, but also she can facilitate the New York Liberty offense um, and create shots for the players and set them up. And also she can get a bucket if needed. So having someone of uh, Courtney Vanderson's caliber on Liberty uh, will help them contend for that title that they want to get. Now you talk about them contending for the title and also going after big names, Christina. And last week we spoke about how New York has interest in adding Brianna Stewart to pair her with John Cole Jones and Sabrina Nescu. Prior to last season, Stewart met with the Liberty during free agency before returning to the Storm. So what's the latest you're hearing about her free agency process? And do you expect her to make a decision soon? So if you look on social media right now, Stewie is having such a fun time right now uh, trying to send cryptic messages about her free agency moves with different emojis on Twitter and having people try to decipher what it means. But sources are saying that Brianna Stewart um, is meeting with four teams in free agency, one, of course, being the Seattle Storm, who drafted her number one overall in 2016. Uh, the New York Liberty is on that list, the Washington Mystics and the Minnesota Lynx. It is also rumored that Stewie's free agency decision is going to be contingent on what Courtney Vandersloot will do with free agency. Um, sources are saying that they want to team up next season and play together. And so they're going to be a package deal for whatever team lands them. But yeah, Stewie, she's waiting to see what Courtney Vandersloot um, does in her free agency. Right now, this weekend, Courtney is in New York meeting with the New York Liberty, who just uh, got 2021 MVP John Paul Jones. And so we're going to wait to see what happens there. But um, sources are saying that there's like, it's a big chance that the, the New York Liberty can land Stewie. We saw last season that the Seattle Storm was able to re-sign her despite uh, meeting with the Liberty because she wanted to give Sue Bird a farewell, uh, a good farewell, and trying to compete with a championship. But now that Sue Bird is retired, it just opens up the field for Stewie to explore free agency, and New York is at the top of that list. At the top of the list, which is music to Liberty fans' ears. So we talked about Vandersloop and Stewart as free agents, but those two players, they also played with John Paul Jones overseas in Russia. And we know this, Christina, camaraderie along with who's on a roster can be a major factor towards players wanting to sign with the team. Is it likely that this trio, the three ladies that I just mentioned, want to play together again here in New York? As you just mentioned, 
three, these three players played together in Russia for a number of years on that UMC team. Also, Brittany Griner played on that team. Emma Misa, man, there's a lot of WNBA uh, high caliber players who played in Russia together. But the three that we are talking about right now is John Paul Jones, Brianna Stewart, and Courtney Vandersloot. They won a 2021 EuroLeague championship together. Adding these players to the Liberty automatically makes them the 2023 favorites for the title. Um, you have uh, Brianna Stewart, who's an all-star, won the w two WBA championships. Courtney Vandersloot, who also won a championship. So um, getting them together will automatically, obviously, make New York contend for a title. They will be a super team. Um, but then if you add these three players together, uh, GM Jonathan Cope will have a lot to think about moving forward in 2024 as Sabrina Unescu is up for a contract extension. And also in 2024, the WNBA will have new rules in order uh, in terms of how players prioritize the league. And uh, in 2024, uh, they will be able to, um, they have to, in fact, arrive on time for training camp or else they will be suspended. And Brianna Stewart has been vocal about imposing that rule because because players make uh, money overseas and stateside. And she's one of those players who's been opposed to that rule um, this early on. So, as far as 2023 goes, if they get all three players, it'll be a great deal. And then moving forward, GM Jonathan Cole will have a lot to think about in terms of uh, salary cap and the new rule coming into play. Yeah, always tough when you get a super team, put them together. You got to figure out how you're going to fill out the rest of the roster and how long you can keep that championship window open. But, Christina, if they get the three of those women together, it will be exciting times for sure here in New York. <laughs> that is Christina Williams, the founder of Girls Talk Sports TV. Go follow her. She's going to be breaking a lot of the news around the WNBA, especially when it comes to the Liberty. Christina, thank you. Always good to talk to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's always good to be here and chat with you.